What is going on guys, your boy Joey672 coming to you guys with a video right now. So there is some uh, news coming out that after uh, cornerback J.C. Horn from South Carolina, after his pro day, he will be meeting um, with the Eagles. So obviously the Eagles will have a certain amount of interviews for the draft. Um, obviously no combine. Uh, so look out for... Uh, J.C. Horn's meeting now you know we could probably say over the years that every every team that the well every player that the Eagles meet up with they never draft um, and that sometimes that does happen uh, but when it comes down to J.C. Horn and guys like Caleb Farley Patrick Sertain Asante Samuel Jr. like all these guys um, someone's gonna drop in the second round and the Eagles have a huge chance to get somebody um, whether it's the Eagles could take some of these late picks you know, to maybe take their third rounder. I know we don't we don't have a fourth this year. Obviously, we're waiting on this Zach Ertz trade right now and see where that goes and where it's heading. But you could take some of these picks, maybe move in late in the you know in the first round, or if someone moves down, maybe J.C. Horn maybe just misses the first round of this draft. I mean, people tell me all the time. Um, I've talked to Philly 500 about it, and you know, I've kind of already said that, uh, and we both actually said that you know taking some of these picks and moving up in the first round again uh, would be actually a really good idea. Um, I'd be down with getting that you know, that really sensational, that big sensational player on offense and then taking another pick, you know, getting a couple picks together to move into the first round again or pretty much right early in the second and see if a J.C. Horn actually comes down in this draft. I don't think J.C. Horn is going to get drafted with the six overall pick, um, obviously. I think that's way too, too much of a reach, but at the same time, you get this big corner in that has a lot of uh, maneuvering and could stay with receivers at their waist. And uh, for a guy that big, you could do a lot of things with him. And it's really hard finding those big corners. I'm really tired of having those undersized corners like Ronald Darby, like Avante Maddox, you know, some of these, you know, Craven LeBlanc, you know, but could they actually be skillful and do some good things? We've had big corners like Rasul Douglas that we just used the wrong way, but obviously um, we've kind of found that out from getting rid of him and, and kind of thriving a little bit with the Panthers um, here and there. Uh, when you use J.C. Horn, you want to put a man-to-man in, put him on in somebody's face and uh, let him be physical and, and that's where he's going to um, really hone in his skills um, on defense so a first meeting for the Eagles looks like it's JC Horn I don't know if I've heard any other names so far if anyone else has heard any other names please let me know in the comment section below but JC Horn would be a fantastical JC Horn would be a fantastic uh, pick for the Philadelphia Eagles and uh you know what? I if it takes us moving in the first round again to go get him, I'm fine with it. I would give up a couple picks to move back into the first round, or to get on top of the second round, pretty much, and and kind of pick him up. This corner class is pretty deep. I know they can get somebody, and hopefully they pick a name that we know. Uh, and that's really where I'm at with this. Uh, my dream, like I said before, is to. You know, you know, draft someone with the six overall on offense, get your sensational, diverse player, and then you go um, and grab a few more picks, move up into the late first, or, you know, move up into the, like, pretty much the top of the second and try to pick up a J.C. Horn or a corner, any type of corner, you know what I mean? At that moment, that's where, uh, you know, my decisions lie with this team and how they draft. I think it's really important because Darius Slay is getting older now. I mean, we're trying to sign another corner right now as we speak. We tried getting a Dory Jackson. He got paid way too much. Um, don't know if the Eagles are actually going to pay that much money. He's making $16 million his first year um, from only playing two games in 2020. OK, so there's a lot of different things the Eagles could do. Um, I want to see if they actually sign another corner opposite side of Darius Slay. And you know what? The more players, the more players to that position, the more um, competition you're going to have this offseason. We're going to have a normal offseason, um, rookie mini camp, OTAs, training camp, you name it. We're going to have it and uh, and some preseason games on top of it. So we'll have better evaluation this year of this roster and see where we're heading with it. But 
J.C. Horn is definitely on my list of corners to go get in this draft. So I um, hope the Eagles make the right decision and, and see how he is. Uh, I want to see his pro day. I want to see how he moves. And uh, I've seen a lot of tape on J.C. Horn, but uh, should be exciting. So move up to the late first with some of these other picks that we have. We have 12 picks. We could have well, 11 picks. We could have 12 to 13 picks with the Zach Ertz trade going through. Hopefully, um, that's what we're kind of waiting on right now. So other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think of what you would want to do um, in the second round, or would you want to move up in the first round like I kind of want to do again and, uh, you know, get that really good talent to build around um, in this defense. So other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys later. Chase, quote up, follow slide. Peace out, guys. Peace.